What's up y'all, Ryan here again, and today I'm here with something a little bit different. Y'all usually see me with a lot of software plugins and things of that sort, which I am gonna use today, but I actually recently acquired something new hardware-wise that I get to test for y'all today, and it just happens to be an overdrive pedal. This is the opaque drive from my buddy Arik Fowler over at Substation Onyx. Before I go any further, this is not a sponsored video. I did pay for this pedal out of my own money uh, because I'm actually getting back into hardware amps and pedals again for the first time in, I don't know, 15 plus years now, I've been using software and digital effects for a very, very long time. So I'm actually really stoked to be getting back into these. Now, the Opaque Drive is pretty cool. It's a very aesthetically pleasing looking pedal. It looks fantastic. The housing is built very sturdily. It's made out of a cast metal outer. So this pedal is made very solidly. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's nothing rattling in it when you shake it or anything. And yes, that is a test that I do to pedals to find out how cheap they might be made. The outside of it's powder coated, so this is definitely gonna last a long time. I love the font of the text that he used even on this, but this pedal houses two independent overdrive circuits. Now you have the gold and you have the silver. Both of these are independently switchable, or you can run them both at once if you want to. Both of them are overdrive overdrives, but they just have their different flavors. Now with the different switches on here, on the gold channel we have a soft, a boost, and a hard. Talking about the clipping there, I assume there. Please forgive me, I'm not the most well versed in pedal talk here, so I'm going to learn as I go. And then for the silver mode, we have the full, the classic, and the attack. As far as ins and outs, you have just a standard in and out and then a nine volt input. So very simple, fits on pretty much any pedal board. It is a little bit larger than a normal pedal, which is fine because it has a lot more features than a normal overdrive pedal does as well. And you do have two little LED lights here to symbolize which version of the overdrive you have on or off for that matter. So I'm gonna read this next part directly from RX website, just so that I don't get it wrong because I'm not the best at remembering things. I don't do scripts for these videos or anything like that. But the silver overdrive in here focuses on on your guitar's frequency voicing so you can dial in as much low end punch and mid range bite as you want. It has a single amp like distortion flavor that preserves your transients instead of compressing them down like most overdrives do. Now the gold then offers a sampler of different distortion flavors and a more traditional tone control and this allows it to fulfill a variety of roles. Together any overdrive sound from a clean boost to a doomer style distortion can be found within these two stackable circuits. I found that to be very, very true when I was testing this. And so far I've only tested this with software amp simulators as well, which is pretty cool. I do have a video that's going to come out next week actually where I'm testing this in front of a real tube amp as well. So you're gonna wanna hit the like and subscribe buttons here, please, so that you can make sure to catch that video next week as well. All right, so now I know everybody's just dying to hear this at this point instead of hearing me talk. So let's go ahead and dive into some tones here. Now the tones that I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover a clean tone. Yes, I do play clean tones sometimes. And I think it's really important that you hear how this sounds with a clean tone because of the way the compression and the overdrive work sounds really, really cool. And there's a little trick that I found by using both of the uh, overdrive circuits at once on a clean tone that sounds really good for whatever reason. I have no clue what it's doing, no clue what the magic is in the background there. And then we're gonna go into what y'all know me for, which is high gain metal distorted tones. So let's go ahead and dive in there. Before we do though, I always have to tell you, I'm using my trusty GOC Guitars Illumina Plus, and this is using my Aurora Tone Ultraviolet pickups inside of it. Nothing else between the guitar and the uh, interface besides the opaque drive. So let's go ahead and jump in and hear some tones. All right, so let's go ahead and start out with the clean tone here. Now this is a really cool clean tone that I've been jamming through a lot and this is what it sounds like on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the neck pickup. A little bit more well suited for this. So that's what the clean tone sounds like right now. There's no cab section turned on, no pedals turned on in the initial overdrive section here. And then EQ, nothing going on as well. We do have the delay and reverb going here. So let's go ahead and switch on the silver drive function here. And you can immediately hear there's a lot of breakup happening there, right? So. Let's hear it on the bridge pickup. pickup here, or the middle pickup position I should say. All right, silver off, gold channel on. The gold channel I tend to use a little bit more for like the high gain distorted tones, but it does sound really good on the clean channel here as well. And again, we're going through a software amp sim right now. We're not using a real physical amp, so things are hitting the front of the amp a little bit differently than they would on a real amp. So you can hear how we took a lot of the bass out of that, right? So let's go ahead and turn that tone knob down a little bit. Hope you can see that. Really loving that break up there. Let's hear it on the bridge pickup. Really not my jam. Let's hear the neck pickup. All right, 
now let's go ahead and dial in both. So when we have both, you're going to hear a little bit of clipping right now because I do have the uh, levels turned up a little bit too far, it looks like. Obviously. So let's go ahead and tame that down to where I had it when I was jamming earlier. Let's hear it there. So as you can see and hear, the clean sound pretty damn good going through this pedal is something I didn't expect because I accidentally left the gold and silver drives on at the same time. And I was trying to figure out why there's so much extra gain happening and I happened to look down and saw both of the lights were on. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm actually stacking drives right now on a clean channel and I have the levels turned all the way up. So I was like, okay, let's mess around a little bit. Let's turn the levels down and this is the sound that I got out of it. This is actually still a little bit hotter than what I was playing earlier. If we dial back that gain on the silver channel a little bit. And just to note, I have the gold channel on the boost switch, and then I have the silver channel on the attack. Uh, if I change those up, let's see, let's switch it over here. A little bit too much boost happening there at that point. Not enough, but also still too dirty, but right in the middle on the boost setting on the gold just sounds great. All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and get on to what everybody came here for today, which is the high gain metal tone using this pedal instead. So we're going to go ahead and switch it over here. Still using Archetype Nolly X here. And again, nothing on in the compression overdrive section at all. If we go to the amp section here, we have some pretty basic settings. We've got the bass cranked, we have the gain down, mid, treble, resonance, all pretty basic settings here. I'm gonna turn this pedal off completely because we're gonna have to dial it in again real quick because that was dialed for the clean settings here. So important to note that I've cranked the presence knob really far down. A lot of people tend to have that cranked up on a 5150 style amp. I have it down pretty low. Over in the EQ section here, I do have some post EQ happening. And then in effects, we have nothing. In the cabinet section, this is just running the built-in impulse responses, Dynamic 57 in the condenser 414. So let's go ahead and hear the tone before I turn on the opaque drive. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the gold channel. All right, so already sounds massively better in my opinion, but we have some tinkering to do here because I need to crank this level up a little bit and then I'm going to crank the tone probably all the way up. We'll listen and see. So that is helping the amp saturate really well, to be honest with you. If we go to the amp section, I think I can bring this gain down a little bit more because of this pedal and have a really, really nice sounding saturation. <laughs> All right, so that's my preferred flavor of the gold overdrive circuit. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's go ahead and hear how the silver affects it now. Honestly, it almost has like that spank to it, like a strap pickup would. And again, we're using humbuckers here. Let's crank the level a little bit like we would for a high gain tone. 
All right, let's go ahead and crank this mids knob up a little bit. I, I know that's cranking the mids, but it actually did give it a little bit of a presence boost for me, or at least to my ears. And again, I'm not using great speakers or anything right now. Uh, important to note here, I have the gain turned all the way down on both of the gain knobs on both of the channels that you've heard so far. On the silver channel, we're on the attack setting. So let's go ahead and move it to the middle in the classic and hear that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to the full now. All right, so what are my thoughts? I mean, being my first foray back into pedals again, this was a hell of a good start. This pedal has a ton of different options and flavors for your overdrive, so you're not stuck with just the typical old TS9 Tube Screamer kind of sound, which there's nothing wrong with. It's just, in this day and age, it's nice to try something different and try and get a different or more unique tone, which is getting increasingly more and more difficult to do. You know, one of the things I like about getting pedals like this is not everybody's going to have them, not yet at least. I hope you all decide to pick one up. I've got the link down in the description to pick up this pedal now if you want one. And there's just something to be said about sitting there and twisting knobs on a piece of hardware and dialing in a guitar tone that you're happy with that's not just part of a piece of software. And again, not knocking software, it's basically all that I use. So I'm definitely not trying to be a hypocrite here. I'm actually just learning them, starting to prefer hardware guitar devices and effects and amps and things again because of the immediate response and the immediate satisfaction that I get out of playing through them. But what do you all think? I mean, how are those tones that you're hearing through this? Is there anything that you would do different? I mean, you saw me dialing it in on the screen. How would you dial this in different? Was there any settings that you might change or that you might want to hear? And let me know what you might want to hear out of this going forward because I do have a tube amp that I'm going to test this in front of next. And I'm pretty stoked for you all to hear that. So yeah, yeah, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'm going to be demoing this, like I said, in front of a tube amp that I recently acquired. And that's probably going to be out next week. So look out for that, all right? So yeah, check out this opaque drive, though. All links in the description. It's a fantastic pedal. I hope you all liked this demo today. And I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.